What's the deal, YouTube? It's day 13 on our trading journey. A little, a little series we had. But really, just this video, I'm just going to be talking on uh, what trading in, just life and everything I'm going through right now in general. But uh, trading like Monday and Tuesday, I ain't really trade on them days. Well, I did, but it was some slight. I really wasn't risking nothing for real. But really, like when the day, weeks first get started, I'll be trying to let structure build because I don't be knowing where where um, the direction of where everything will be going. So I'll be just letting everything play out, build some structure, and then I'll trade. Today, I, I should have uh, I should have had a trade, but I didn't trade today. And <clears throat> what else? And then, what else should I say? And then I'll say about, oh yeah, I say, oh yeah, yesterday, I did trade on Monday and Tuesday. Oh, I mean, I traded on Tuesday, not, not Monday though. Let me show y'all. So if we was to trade today, this would, this would be the setup I'll be taking. It would be sales, basically like how it was trading last week. Sales rejecting this level right here. We would enter right here. Let me show y'all. That's crazy how this already played out. I didn't even think. I thought I figured it would come to this level again before going down. But really, it's clean traffic already down to the back to this side. Uh, so we'll see the next time where it gets some structure, structure to get in another trade. US thirty really played; they got they played the same way. You rejected the level. You rejected this level because I was in bars yesterday with US thirty, but basically the same thing. Rejected this level right here. And try to come up, but the same thing as NAS, they mirroring each other. They should do the same thing. They should both go back down and then go on what goal they're doing. I, ha I had a trade yesterday or on Monday, I think. I was trying to trade gold and that thing just shot down. Oh, it was right here. I was trying to hop in bars and I closed up the trade before it went down. Let me show y'all what the count looking like. Let's see, like the count moving slow. I'm about to uh, log back into my other prop firm account on the fund trader because they they coming back and I might play more aggressive with that account because this this is kind of been taking a little minute. But last seven days we made that the slightly been going up and down for real. So on that account we play more aggressive, give us more opportunities, bro. Cause it's a little too slow. I ain't gonna lie. And then I be using super small lot size, so I don't risk that much amount. But I'm about to go back to scalping. So that's really what's up for, for it's like the update on my account and everything for this series. This series. But yeah, this video is gonna be a little update on what we see and what trades we would have took, and just basically what our account look like. But yeah, really like this trading stuff, bro. <laughs> it's like trading one of those things where it take a minute to learn it and all that. But once you learn it, you can might make money easily. And trading really ain't it ain't even really about the money for real. When you were trading, it's just the freedom with it. Like I can trade anywhere I want to be. I can choose choose what I want to do with trading. Like I could. You got more flexibility with it. You don't gotta be on no schedule on it. It's really just based off all your knowledge and for real. Like, if you know how to trade, you're gonna make money. So you can do it anywhere you want. So that's how I feel like. I mean, you could say you can't trade on the weekend. That's the only thing you can't trade on there or certain times has less volume and all that. But yeah, I feel like trading is a skill that you learn and you can go with, you can, he'll never like forget it or never leave you and no matter how long. Like, yeah, like how can I say it? Like, no, it, like it will be with you, it'll be with you forever. That's just what I'm saying. Like, once you learn it, you can learn it. Like, you ain't no coming back. And then it help you. It help you with other things. Like, it help your mindset, mindset with other stuff. Like, with trading, bro, you know how ups and downs be. So when you winning and stuff, you know how to manage how you want. Like with sports betting or with just money in general. Like when you trade, you make X amount of money. You only have no more emotions to when you make that money because 
you know that's like a routine of what you're supposed to be doing. So like when you make money, you're not supposed to be side when you lose. You're not supposed to be mad about it. So like it make you emotionless on like when you when you do certain things. So I feel like it helped me in certain aspects like that. Where like I don't let my emotions get over me when I lose certain stuff. Cause like I'm used to it. Or it's just I can learn something from it. So like I say trading is one of the things like you can learn a lot. Besides just the trading stuff, bro. But I mean, it ain't been that long for me. It's been about four months. It's four months, and I ain't really made no money from it, but I learned some stuff. I did, like I said, once I learn it, it's going to be stuck with me forever, and I'm going to be able to make money from it. So I'm not sure about it. It's just it been moving a little slow. Though. Like, this challenge is probably the longest challenge, but it's the longest. I mean, it's the most I learned from it. So, like I said... I'm uh I'm gonna go to my email, see if I can uh, find my credentials for my other account. And we're gonna get that account and see what we can do. I might go, like I said, I I, I sleep. I might just have to go back to the other strategy where I was scalping, like a little scalping like 10 to 15 pips with a decent lot size. That might have to be it to get the account up out and draw down again. Might do that. But yeah. It's like, I ain't, the only thing about it is I still ain't losing the account because I've been risking accordingly and I ain't really gained that much because when I'm trying to get out of, uh, get my account like in profit from out of the initial amount, it's like I either change something up and then forget little small little stuff. So I feel like that's really it. But this video will be like a little short video. Just a little update, but that's that's about it. But that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.